Welcome to this new company setup, Peachtree Anytime Learning Topic. Would you like to set up a new company in Peachtree? In this topic, you will learn how to easily create a new company using Peachtree's new company setup wizard. After completing this Anytime Learning Topic, you will be able to create a new company in Peachtree. When you start Peachtree, Peachtree will default to an open existing company, set up new company, start page. To set up a new company in Peachtree, simply click the Create a New Company button, or you can select File and then New Company. Both methods open up Peachtree's new company setup wizard. The new company setup wizard will walk you through the creation of your new company. The bulleted list here on the welcome screen informs you of the information you will need to have handy during the setup process definitely have this information available when walking through this wizard. Although you can modify your company name and address and your business type after running the wizard, the rest of the information that will be asked will be set in stone and cannot be very easily changed after the new company setup has been completed. Let's click Next to begin the new company setup process. On the first entry page of the wizard, you are asked to enter your basic company information, such as your name, address, and contact information, and the ID numbers you will use to identify your company when you pay federal and state taxes, as well as your state unemployment insurance. All of this information can be added or modified after the setup wizard is complete, so don't worry if you do not have all of this information handy right now. The business type drop-down is where you will identify your company's business type and will tell Peachtree what types of equity accounts should be included in your chart of accounts. Although it's relatively easy to change your business type after the wizard has completed, it's usually a good idea to make sure that the correct business type is entered here at this stage of your company setup. We'll select Sole Proprietorship and click Next. There are various methods that can be used to create your company's default setup and chart of accounts. Your selection here will determine what options are provided to you as you walk through the rest of the wizard. Selecting Use a Sample Business Type will configure the wizard to allow you to pick from many sample business chart of accounts. If you do not already have a chart of accounts created for your company, this choice is highly recommended. You can also copy settings from an existing Peachtree company. This selection will present options that will essentially allow you to import the chart of accounts from an already existing Peachtree company plus many default settings you may want to use. Choosing the Convert a Company from Another Accounting Program option will walk you through creating an empty company that is intended to have data from another accounting program imported into it. Note that this method should not be used when converting QuickBooks to Peachtree. A much simpler, quicker method for converting QuickBooks data is provided on the start page of the Peachtree program. You can also tell the wizard that you plan to build your own chart of accounts from scratch. If you are using Peachtree Premium or higher, you will have the option to create a special type of Peachtree company that consolidates the chart of accounts of existing companies so that you can create consolidated financial statements. For this demonstration, we'll build a new company based on a sample business type, so let's click Next. On the next screen, you are asked to select a business type. Each type lists the general ledger accounts that will be created for that business type. These accounts will make up the initial list of general ledger accounts that you can use to record the financial events in your business, and will include account types such as asset, liability, income, expense and cost of sales, and equity accounts. The simplified business types offer four-digit account IDs and a relatively small amount of initial general ledger accounts to use. They are based on general industry types such as construction, distribution, retail, and so on. The detailed types provide a more detailed extensive account list that are tailored to a more specific type of business. For example, if your business is an auto repair shop, you can select the available sample business type on the left window. To the right, you can then view the account list associated with that business type, 
which in this example includes many accounts tailored for the auto repair industry. If you do not see a sample business type that perfectly matches your business, simply select one that is a close fit. You can always add, modify, and delete general ledger accounts after the new company setup is completed. Now you will want to select the accounting method you want to use for your company. You have two options. You can select accrual basis, which will tell Peachtree to record your purchases and sales in your general ledger at the time a sales or purchase invoice is created, regardless of whether the invoice has been paid. Or you can select cash basis. Cash basis tells Peachtree to record income and expenses only when cash has been received by your customer or a payment has been sent to a vendor. Make sure you understand the implications of the selection you make here. If you are still unsure as to what method you should use for your business, you should consult with your accountant before continuing with the setup wizard, as this selection cannot be changed once the wizard is complete. We'll leave it set to accrual basis and click next. Now you will determine whether you want Peachtree to automatically transfer your transactions from your journals to your ledger in real time, or if you want Peachtree to leave the transactions in your journals so that you can transfer them manually at a time convenient to you. During the setup, you need to define the units of time that make up your company's fiscal year. You can have up to 13 accounting periods defined for each year open. This means that because you always have two open fiscal years in Peachtree, you can have up to 26 accounting periods open and available to you at any given time. Most companies simply have 12 monthly accounting periods defined in their fiscal year structure. If this is you, select 12 monthly accounting periods. These periods will be based on each month of the year, and each period will end on the last day of the month. If your business is based on another period structure, such as quarterly periods, or maybe 13 four-week periods, select the Accounting Periods Do Not Match Calendar Months option. Peachtree will then provide a screen to modify your fiscal year periods just the way you need them. On this screen, you can tell Peachtree how many periods make up your fiscal year and on what day does the fiscal year start. You can also modify each period in the list if needed. Our sample company's fiscal year structure is not complicated. It will use the 12 months of the year to define its fiscal periods, so we will click the back button, select the first option, and then click Next. As you can see, selecting this option, a different window will appear. We now need to tell Peachtree what the first month of the company's fiscal year is. As mentioned earlier, you can have up to two fiscal years open in Peachtree. In our example, this will equate to 24 open periods numbered from 1 to 24. Make sure that you enter the correct starting date. If entered incorrectly, you will need to walk through the wizard again. Let's click Next. Now we have reached the end of the wizard. We'll click Finish. The initial new company setup process is complete. This company is now ready for you to enter your records and transactions. You will be provided with a setup guide that will walk you through defining your company settings and default information even further. Each hyperlink on this window provides you with a step-by-step -step walkthrough to add records and define default settings for each major area of Peachtree. If you are unsure of a specific step in a setup wizard, click the Help button to learn more about the current step that you are on. In addition to help, you can also click the Access Online Training for Setup link on the main Setup Guide window to view Getting Started video tutorials that will teach you how to set up Sage Peachtree for your business. So as you have seen, creating your company in Sage Peachtree using the new company setup wizard is a simple process that will have you up and going in Peachtree in very little time. You have successfully completed this Anytime Learning topic. You have learned how to set up a new Peachtree company using the new company setup wizard. Thank you for taking this Anytime Learning topic. For information on additional training options available, 
Visit us at sageu.com.